What's growing on Plan Army? Jacob here, and today I'm going to be showing you my first Photoshop CS6 extended tutorial. Um, for my first tutorial, even though I have many, many more planned, I decided to teach you guys about the brush tool because I thought it's something that's basic, pretty easy to master the um, basic settings for, and it's something that you'll be using all throughout Photoshop. Alright, so basically, uh, if you have any other tool already selected, you can just hit B and it'll bring you to your brush tool or you can just select it on the left panel. Uh, your basic settings can be accessed up at the top over here or you can right click anywhere and you can change the size. Uh, it can be really huge, it doesn't matter. It can, it can be gigantic, 5,000 pixels. Um, and you can also tra change the hardness of your brush which just changes obviously the hardness. It's like the softness hardness of the brush. It blurs out the edges when the hardness is low. So we'll just get rid of those. Um, there's tons of brush presets on the side. You can see there's tons of like calligraphy things, paint brushes. You can access those down here as well. I'm not really going to be showing you those today and there's plenty more if you click on this. All of these and you can certainly download more. I'm not going to be showing you those. Um, but I'm going to show you the brush settings. On the right side, you can click Brush, and it'll bring you to these brush settings. Now, this Shape Dynamics thing first. It can change the size. It, it basically creates a random size for your brush when you're making it. It creates... Uh, I'll change the hardness so you can see it better. It varies the size when you do it. So instead of just having a normal, straight, solid brush like that, you can have a jittery brush and you can control those jitter settings and change them to small jitters or big jitters or whatever and you can change all of these settings there's also angle jitter but if you're using a circular brush it's not going to do anything because it's a circle and if you change the angle of a circle it's not going to do anything um, there's roundness it'll make it like an ellipse um, that's basically it for shape dynamics scattering this will scatter. It'll create many different um, of your brush at the same time. So if you want to create like this bubble stream, you can do that. And you can create, you can decide how much it scatters at one time. It's pretty helpful if you're trying to create a cool effect because you can make things like... Uh, this that just float across the screen. It can be good. Uh, so you can change the amount it scatters as well, a lot, a little, whatever. Um, texture, you can just basically change what your um, brush will look like. That's pretty self-explanatory. Dual brush, we're not going to get into that. Color dynamics, it can make the brush change color when you use it. it this will use the foreground background jitter, will use the colors from your foreground and background. This um, top one will be your foreground. This back one is your background. So now, since I have this selected, and I drag this, it'll create all these different colors because it changes in between the colors that I have selected, red and orange, and the colors in between. And that can create a pretty cool effect, as you can see right there. Now, applied with shape dynamics and scattering as well, you can create a cool little rainbowy like thing. Transfer is just opacity. You can it's opacity jitter. You can change how opaque things get and how much it's jittering. Um, brush pose, it's just the angle that your brush will be at in general. If you don't want it to be um, an angled jitter, you can have a brush pose which will tilt it in a certain direction that you tell it. Um, noise, we're not going to get into that. Wet edges, it, it kind of makes it so that if you like color over it a lot of times it'll get darker and darker. It's basically like, it looks like if you spill water on paper it gets like that. I don't really know why it's called wet, wet edges, but um, I'm going to assume that's why. Uh, <laughs> even though it's not. Alright, sorry. Um, ah, making this all messy for you. Um, let's go back into this. Okay. Um, build up, we're not going to get into that, but 
the last thing we'll talk about is smoothing. Now smoothing is obviously just going to make it smooth. Um, I think that's all I'm going to talk to you guys about today with the brush tool. Um, I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you next time.